Hey guys, how's it going? Ghost David here today, and we are going to be making Reese's Pieces cake. Right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we are. We're going to make a Reese's Pieces cake. Look at my tatas. No. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Ow, that was loud. I don't think we're going to do this. We're just using this, yeah? Yes, that's what we're doing. Because we're going to have a big Reese's Pieces buttercup. Um, so, as you can see, we are using, not on this bag, no, on this bag. Chocolate. Oh, how is it even legal? I'll never know. <laughs> Seriously. So, we're going to set this up. As you can see, we got the giant cupcake pan so we can do this in. We're going to see if this turns into a complete utter failure and see if we need a little bit of silicone. I prefer my El Natural Tatas. I don't like silicone, so I'm going to try this, okay? So, what are we doing? We got, what did you call this? The double, double boiler? boiler, yes. Yeah, see, I don't even know that. This would be like the radiator. Just water in the pot, and then you put another bowl on top, and you put your chocolate so, in. First thing you need is a whole lot of pot, and then you need water, and, and then you need, need a bowl. bowl. And I guess at chocolate. this point... Well, yeah, you're going to need to turn it on. We're going to turn it on, and then we're going to have the milk chocolate. So we need apparently 300 grams? 300 grams, roughly, yes. Yeah, 300 gram or a gram? 300 grams. That's Three a whole zero, lot of grams. <laughs> See, I, I, I remember the 300s. So, we doing 300 grams here, bro. Alright, so let's see what that would be. So, we are going to check our measurements <laughs> as we dance around the kitchen. And we are going to turn on this once we get our chocolates inside. How's it taste? Very good. Try it. Mmm, Belgium chocolate. Mm -hmm. You know what it's like? Chocolate. You know what it reminds me of? Mm -hmm. My Oma always getting us the milk chocolate. Calendars. Oh, that's so, so good. good. Mm. So, as you can see, we have it starting to get heated up. And we've got our wooden spoon. I handy the wooden spoon. And then now, where we spoon, we have this one on sex. It's probably too high. Really? We're just getting the party started and then we can cool it down. <laughs> you don't what? want it to start bubbling. Yeah. Because you don't want the water to touch the chocolate. Ah. See? I'm learning things about chocolate and water right now. And then we make the ultimate Reese's Pieces. Like, this is going to be way better because I think Reese's Pieces is made with dark chocolate. And this is going to be with milk chocolate, which is way better. Way better than dark. And then everyone that likes dark chocolate is totally, like, swearing at me right now and disliking the video. I'm totally in love with milk chocolate. Like, it's the way to go for me. I know some people prefer dark chocolate, apparently it's healthier, but to tell you the truth, I don't need chocolate to be healthy. <laughs> Anyways, it's a slow process. Very slow. But it's totally worth it. Isn't that right? Very worth it. Chocolate time. Oh yes. Just remember to stir and evenly disperse the heat. Yeah, just keep stirring every once in a while. See, I do know some stuff about this. Yes. A little bit. Because I love the way. I'll just watch you do it. That's, that's basic. Anything. You're, <laughs> you're spooning the chocolate. I am every once in a while when it needs to get stirred. So that's I'm good, yeah. Yeah. That's very good. Other than that, just keep spooning your chocolate. Until it gets smooth. Until it's smooth? Smooth. Smooth. Very smooth. <laughs> very smooth. <laughs> it's looking good though. Oh, ow, oh, oh, caught on camera. Like 15, 20 minutes later, we're at this point. We still got a little bit of chunkies in there. We're still melting it down, but it's getting silky smooth. And it smells amazing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So this we're just using as the mold. We're going to make sure it's going to work. And then later on, if this, this is totally a trial run. We're going to see if it holds the mold then it'll be sick and I think I'm gonna have to do a big plan after this. <laughs> this, it, 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 well if I'm posting this then that means this plan's definitely happening. Like that means I'm definitely going to be making like a 10, maybe 5 or 10 pound Reese's Pieces butter cup. <laughs> it's happening. Oh my gosh, my guts are aching but I love it. But uh... Maybe temper it too might help. Yeah. I don't even know what that is, but awesome. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, look at that. Less and less chunks. It's getting mm -hmm. there. It's, it's pretty good. See, I want some of the lumps are out. No, the, the way they're melted. You can either add more chocolate to it or you can let it sit and then dump it into the mold. So you can probably take it off the heat now. Sweet. It comes off the heat. Off the, the heat. It goes into the cup. It is a smooth pan, so I'm hoping the mold does come out. So very convenient. Are you just gonna add the Oh, are we going huge? Going big or going home? Let's well, temper it. Yeah. It makes it so the chocolate sets right away. So you have to put it in the fridge. Oh. So adding more chocolate after you've already melted it. Yeah. So I'll take it off the heat, add more chocolate. Okay. Woo. And keep stirring. You don't want to put it back in the heat. Oh. I'm going to keep stirring it until these are melted, and then you can pour it into your mold. Wait, there's magic going on here? There's like it's more gonna... magic going on. What? Because <laughs> it's so hot right now, and the other wafers, it's going to melt the other ones. So just keep oh. stirring it. And as you can see, they're already starting to... Can you tell she's a chocolate pro? I have no idea about this <laughs> stuff. I should, but then I'd become so fat. Like, I would not fit under... As you can tell, he has no spatulas in this kitchen. I don't! <laughs> I don't have a spatula. I have spoons. Spoons will have... Maybe it's all my nightmares of being, like, beaten with wooden spoons. So you can see that even more... I have tons. It's like nothing now. Yeah. So you get rid of the chunkers. It until it gets smooth all over again. Do a sexy spoon. Sexy spoon? There we go. <laughs> sexy spoon look. <laughs> You tell. Oh. There's like more wafers in there. Nope, it's all gooey. You worked your magic. Yep, so now it's time to pour it into the mold. Just gonna let it sit for a couple more minutes so it's okay. not scorching hot. So, a couple minutes from now, we shall show you. Now your chocolate's fully your... melted, you're gonna wanna dump it into your mold. And as she said to me when we're pulling it off the there, Make sure that when you lift it off, you nope. need your tea towel and you're going to want to wipe your bowl. You don't want any steam or water residue touching your chocolate. No, uh, that's a big no-no in your kitchen. Chocolate. Alright, you ready? <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know which one to pour in here. I don't know. That <laughs> don't looks know. awesome. You could just <laughs> pour it all in there, you know, and just go for it. <laughs> I know. Should we keep going? Should we stop? I think we should keep going, but you're asking the wrong <laughs> dude here. I'm gonna tell you to keep going, cause I'm like Okay, a... let's just do this right now and okay, see cool. where we're at. I'm totally down for anything, cause I'm really wanting some chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> then... Now we get to watch you. Pour it along. Oh sides. my gosh, magic. What the... Oh, you know what I want to do now? What? Get a big thing of ice cream out. <laughs> we could totally do ice cream bowls out of this. We totally could. Oh, giant ice cream bowls. Can you imagine? Peanut butter ice cream bowls. Mmm, even better. This is much harder in a pan. Is it? See? <laughs> so you just keep doing that to make it thicker and thicker? Mm hmm. Just keep going all the way around the sides until it goes to the very end. As close as you can get it, anyways. As you can see, it's going good. Chocolate Love creation is doing enough. awesome. There's still a little bit of chocolate at the bottom, but that's okay. We got a little extra on the bottom, but that's okay, because we'll make it a thicker bottom. That's what we want. Yeah. I like a thick bottom. <laughs> 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 oh boy. So, yeah, it's going good, and we're just going to wait and... Put it in the fridge and see, and then if it needs more, we'll put some more in and do the same thing. Look at this. 
Oh my god. It's not even like what, like five minutes in the fridge? Yeah. That's what happens to be temporary. It looks amazeball. So you know when she added the couple extra little wafers? flakes? The wafers <laughs> at the end. The flakes, the wafers. The wafers, yes. wafers. The wafers. Um, and mix them in. She tempered it and I guess yeah, it definitely helped, but it looks, oh my gosh, that looks delicious. I'm trying not to look too long because I'll eat it. But, yes. I think we're going to do another layer, though, just to get a definitely. little bit thicker. Should I put the rest of it in? Sure. <laughs> you ain't going to hear any complaints from me. All right, guys. So we've done as thick of layers as we want to. We're going to let this sit overnight, and then we're going to try and pop it out in the morning. I was having problems getting it out, so what I ended up doing was I chipped slowly off a little bit of the edge and I was like oh god it still won't come out but get this I put the chocolate in the freezer for like literally five minutes and it completely hardened up I go to the side I bang on it when it's like this it drops out of the pan into there so time to put it in the fridge and then wait for Jessica and her plan she had to go to work because we were screwing around with it I was like told her don't get frustrated let's take this one step at a time so when she gets back we shall finish off this masterpiece, I guess you could call it. Hell yeah! Alright guys, so we're setting up the KitchenAid with the spatula attachment, yay! And then we've also got some cake mix here, so we can make the center. You have... Let's see if it'll focus. Ta-da! That's what you need. I'm not going to say barely, but make sure you have those ingredients ready. And then we set this already 350 is a preset. Jessica! As you can see, we have canola oil. We got this for water, because that's what we're going to need next. She's playing with that. And then we got three <laughs> eggs in the pan over there. Not one, not two. But three. And again, if you want to confirm, if you do buy a quick cake mix like this, we're only doing this because we need to have it done, I guess, tonight. And so... It's one of those things where if you pick it up, make sure you read the back, and it'll tell you everything you need. Oh my gosh, so we have a pillow. See, it's probably all the same. If we flip this one around, it tells you the same thing. Or this one says water or milk, vegetable oil, and three eggs. Ta-da! the same thing. As I'm knocking stuff over. It's perfect. But again, if um, you are just wanting to make a big Reese's Pieces butter cup, you don't have to do this cake portion. You just need a whole lot of peanut butter. Step one. Put mix in. Uh, we poured old box in. That's correct. Perfect. We have our half cup of canola. We're gonna pour it in. Ta-da! Next thing, which is not Richard's asset, is <laughs> taking this and cracking an egg. You can even crack them in the thing too if you want. Aha! No shell, because I'm awesome. You didn't see that sweet pro maneuver. I'm gonna try it again. Oh, 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 that one's gonna totally up shell if I'm not careful. And I just dumped a quarter shell in. Now I get to fish out all the shell, like a boss. Oh my god! Oh my god, it stuck to it! Aha! Okay, I'm not gonna do this to camera in my hand anymore. <laughs> Wait, 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 oh, oh, is it Can my whole body? It? Is it a home body? Is that a shell? No, that's just egg white. Bam! That was totally cool. And let's see if he gets an epic failure mark again. I can't wait. Someone's gonna be like, you're making fun of cooking things, and I'm not, I swear. We're just having fun. And now we have our three egg whites. With no shell, I've already inspected. That looks uh, good to me. We pour them all three in here. And now, you chug the mix. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally going rocky with this. Okay. So now we need a cup and one third of a cup of water. One third cup of water. A cup and a third. A cup and a third. And do some cups. Okay. That we need to fill this to one cup, which is right there. Ta da! Pour this in. 
And then now, third cut. Perfect. So as you can see here, she's buttered. She first buttered the inside, and then what she did is she threw flour and then rolled the flour all around. Isn't Just so right? it doesn't stick. There you go. So at this point, she's going to lick that clean. <laughs> that's <laughs> then, after. That's after. It. I'm totally ahead of the game here. And then with a trusty spatula, yes. I'm gonna go around the edges and make sure it's all incorporated. Can you tell that we're at her place, not mine anymore? Because we actually have a spatula. And not just one. A couple. She's not just talking spatula this time. <laughs> so he doesn't have a spatula. Grr. So as you can see, we don't actually need all the batter. We still have half a bowl, so this is a good time to make cheater cupcakes. Why not? So, we are going to prep these up with some mini cupcake sleeves. And then from this point, put them in all of them, make sure they fit very nice. German engineering. As you can see, she's got the pesco bag. I'm sure you know how to set one of these up. If not, just use the tablespoon method. It's so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> but she's got that all set up. And now she's going to squeeze out her oh. cupcakes. Actually, that is a pretty easy method. But how do you stop? Oh, oh. We ended up having a bit of extra ingredients. So we are totally going to make these monster tiny cupcakes. Alright guys, they're in. We're going to monitor that one to see how long it takes to monitor the mini monster cupcakes and see because they're definitely going to probably bake since that one's way thicker. Oh yeah. That one's going to bake way quicker and that one's going to take a little longer but we'll let you know times in the next part. So as you can see our cupcakes are done. This is them after 10 minutes. Alright guys so as you can see we're going to check it. We have to use a chopstick not a... Is your toothpick isn't big enough. The toothpick definitely <laughs> won't work. Um, the other thing you can use is if you have a wooden match don't use a sulfur end, obviously, but let's see. We're going to do a check. Goo check. Pull out. No goo. We're good. We have to go. As you can see, this turned out monstrous. It's still deliciousness, but it's monstrous, so now it's time to let it cool and set and do its thing. We'll probably put it in the fridge, yeah. And then we're just going to put it in the fridge for probably overnight, let it do its thing. Oh yes, and we are going to wrap it, but first we're going to let it cool down a little bit, and then we'll wrap it. Um, oh yeah, and if you're wondering about the time that we put it in for, approximately about 40 minutes. Yeah, 40 minutes, and again, it's good to check it every, you know, um, I'd say 20, put it in there for 20, check it, then 30, check it, 40, um, check it, but as you've seen at 40, we were good. So if you guys were curious um, why we were being so quiet, it was because we're trying to make sure that we don't wake anybody up because there are a few people sleeping in the house. Don't show me your butt. Come back here. <laughs> All right, guys. So I was at work and I just got in and Jessica made the ganache for the top of the cake. So if you're not doing the Reese's Pieces idea, which I told you earlier, where you just take the wafers and you melt it and then you throw it over top of the peanut butter, then you do it this way. So tell them what you put in there. You put 300 grams of chocolate in there, and then you put 100 grams of whipping cream, and then you put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds, and you keep just constantly stirring it in between until it gets thick, and then let it sit until it gets cool. So, for this step, you're going to need peanut butter, icing, and milk. Yes. Except for my, their fridge is right here. Milk. Milk. You need the milk. Show them your muscles. That's why you drink milk. <laughs> yeah. So, at this point, we're going to mix all of this together. We're just going to get the amounts, and then we'll tell you the amounts as we'll pour them in the bowl. Um, but yeah, the other thing is, is if you're making the big Reese's Pieces Buttercup, you could always make, even though this is not healthier, but it's not as thick. So, if you're worried about your, if you're just doing a big, thick Reese's Pieces Buttercup, you could technically thin it out by doing it this way with the water, the peanut butter, or not the water, the milk, the peanut butter, and the icing, because it'll be a little bit thinner, and you'll still get the same sugar content, and probably still get diabetes, so you're fine. She's totally sifting the icing sugar. 
like a no boss. Lumps. <laughs> hmm? Said no lumps. No lumps? No lumps. No lovely lady lumps? No. <laughs> Not true. Pure sifting. Sifting action. Let's look at her powder. Looks good to me. What, you don't like lumpy icing sugar? No, I don't actually. You know what we could have done to make it healthy for everyone? We could have done that with protein powder. Yeah, because that's exactly what I want. Protein powder with my... Uh, no, not really. Protein with your peanut butter. No. Yeah. <laughs> Get into my Reese's Pieces butter cup. <laughs> yeah. Peanut butter or protein powder? Oh my gosh, Reese's Pieces protein powder. I just thought of a million dollar idea. Someone probably already has it, but I'm gonna make it better. Said like every inventor ever, but it's all good in the neighborhood. Is that all your sugar? Sort of small, and you can work your way up. Sweet. So as you can see, whisk attachment on the KitchenAid. Check. We got the milk. Just gonna add a little bit of that and just kind of wing it. Really. You're gonna wing it. Stir off a little bit and then you can always work your way. So you just go glug glug. That's how the Germans measure. <laughs> Every time the milk canister, the jug goes glug glug. Good. So I, I counted two glugs out of that. So. Alright. I'm probably gonna need more, but. Let's watch her do this. The reason why I'm saying let's watch her because then you can see when she says, oh, yeah, we still need more. Yeah, we yeah we're definitely need more. Look at that. Om nom 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 nom. Icing sugar. Oh, and the thing that I don't one. have. Yeah, you've got tons of spatulas and I don't have any. Which I'll have to buy some. We're definitely going to need more. All right. So, more sugar. More sugar. You take off this so it's So just easier. keep sifting. And Until you're going to need the right amount that you think you're going to need. And if you have any extra, you can always eat it later. Or use it for your cupcakes. Oh, yes, your cupcakes. <laughs> oh, by the way, you guys don't know this, but we also made white cupcakes to match the brown ones we made last night. The brown ones? Yes. And the chocolate ones? Okay. What evs, all right? Chocolate, <laughs> brownies, like chocolate. vanillas, and chocolate. Oh my god, the brown cupcakes. The brown cupcakes. <laughs> hey, are you being cupcake raisins? Hey, it's a you no. said. I'm just saying what you said. I'm being correct. I don't, I don't separate them. I call them all... Cupcakes. Cupcakes. Alright. <laughs> but, as you can see... Now we... Added more. Now we need some more milk. <laughs> Oh, going adventurous. <laughs> Not even a glug. Oh, that's thickening up good. As you can see, we are still pretty runny. So we are going to add some butter. Try be quiet. Yeah, try, <laughs> but it won't work. So but we're starting off with a teaspoon. A and... teaspoon of butter. Yeah, we're gonna add more icing sugar to it. And now it's time to add, she says, a little bit more icing sugar to thicken it up a bit. A bit, just a little bit. bit. So, open up our secondary of the sugar. The sugar. By the way, it doesn't make take three days to bake this cake. We're just totally doing this in the evening as we have time. <laughs> what is the process depending on yes. when you need it by? Exactly. We you can either just so. do it. As Jess said, this is one of her not so crazy cakes. Oh, yeah. It's not as crazy, but it's the first time doing this, so. Yes. We shall see how it turns out. By the way, always make sure that you uh, wear oven mitts when poking things in the oven. 
I'm like I Richard. Had, yeah, I just, you know, didn't really care and stabbed it and then it kind of He was too manly me. for... I was too manly for the <laughs> too mitts. Too manly for the mitts. I just, I was like, you know what, Captain Falcon punch and poke this with a Q-tip, and or not Q-tip, toothpick. There we go. And it bit me. And then, as you can see, while I was at work today, um, I was removing some straps off something, and uh, Buddy whips the strap off, and it catches it and rips it wide open. I was like, well, this can't get any worse. And then, uh, you know, I jinxed myself, and, I, you know, I'm just waiting for it to uh, get worse. So I'm obviously wearing the oven mitts to make sure it doesn't. <laughs> Good times. And now we're ready for the clip on. Your shaft needs lubricating. <laughs> there we go. It's supposed to go swish and click. You know, Lingardian Leviosa. Yes, Lingardian Leviosa. Oh, Jesus. She's you know? over there and she's cleaning it. Don't you know? Don't you know? Don't you know? Alright, let's try this again. Mark 100. This is going to be the longest recipe video ever. It's going to be awesome. If you've made it this far, you earn the gold star. <laughs> Look at all that powder. Oh. Now, since it's getting thicker, you want to add some more milk. See, that looks like cotton candy. Kind of. Oh, super fluffy. Stop it. Sweet. So, when you have about this much, we add two tablespoons this of peanut two butter. Two tablespoons of peanut butter. So we can make an extra butter peanut. Extra creamy. <laughs> For best results, <laughs> used only the best of craft whipped peanut butter. Okay. Or if not, you could always use chunky. Chunky would work. Chunky? Well, I guess it could work. Chunker. You could. You just have some oh. chunks in your peanut butter cup. Could do. If you want extra chocolatey, you could substitute it for Nutella. Don't even get me started. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I struck a weak part. <laughs> Maybe. Peanut butter awesome. Nutella time. <laughs> it's always peanut butter Nutella time. That's why when you get bored, you take some bread, and then instead of making a grilled cheese, you make a grilled peanut butter Nutella. Mm. And then you have it with milk, and it's like having a Reese's Pieces sandwich. Add more milk, it's so More good. milk. Just a little bit, so it's not as thick. This is like a process of just constantly taking it off, scraping the bowl, and then doing the same thing over again. As she said. You look so angry at your eyes and <laughs> rage quit. No, it has to get done. Yes. We should put- Must! I feel like a mess a little bit good job. <laughs> if we had extra, we could do peanut butter icing. Chocolate. I already thought about that. Chocolate. Thingies I might that we made. Yeah. Might just do that tomorrow. Mm. If you feel creative. Maybe. <laughs> My creator side wants to come out. <laughs> Mrs. Creative. Yeah, I taste it and tell me what you think. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Oh my god, I'm making a mess. <laughs> it's so thick. Mm. Oh my god, that's so good. Is it? It's like peanut butter and honey. Mm. Is it it's peanut butter enough though, you think? Or try it. It literally tastes like a peanut butter honey sandwich. Alright. What do you think? Could probably use a little bit more peanut butter, but it still tastes like peanut butter mm. honey. It totally does. That's really good. 
Ta-da! Perfection. Again, add to your peanut butter taste. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It is. Oh, so good. Ooh, Kevin BX is on the screen over there. So. So, maybe it looks more peanut butter. We're gonna do some more peanut butter. Ooh, fresh. Remember, look for the bears. Craft would be so happy I said that. <laughs> we could get like sponsored. I could get what? How many sponsorships have I thrown out? Like three seconds? Arnold? <laughs> yeah, he's not a sponsored thing though. I'm not getting the whole Terminator thing like a lot of people are. Mr. Terminator. The Terminator. Yeah, all. Okay, that's another teaspoon. That's another teaspoon? Mm -hmm. Or is that a tablespoon? What is it? Whoa. What does it look like? <laughs> Jedi mind tricks. That's what it looks like to me. Whoa. Spooning. <laughs> right. Okay, let's see if this gets us to our peanut butter objective. And we go for the click. So hard. Why? <laughs> he doesn't like me anymore. Don't you know? Don't you know? Is, did it go in? Yes, it's on. Perfect. But I'm thinking it might need some more milk because it's some peanut butter. Yes, it's going to get pretty thick. A little bit more. There you go. Just a dash. Make sure it's long and then turn it off. It's becoming more peanut butter yellow. Let's try it. Let's do it. Oh. Yes. Is it good now? It was good before, but my peanut now? butter addiction is setting in, so I'm saying yes. More cupcakes. But yes, that's that's a winner right there. Definitely. So as we said, just choose to your peanut butter satisfaction. So as you can see, pieces of the puzzle are ready. We have our icing. We have our topping, which is the ganache. <laughs> the ganache. And we also have our big cake, which we'll have to slit in the center and trim to size and take off this big but piece. Keep in mind, you're going to need two layers. Two layers, because remember, right in the center. We're going to use the bottom layer, and yep. then we're going to do the next layer, and this is all going to be extra. Yeah. So, you shall see as we move step by step. As she looks at oh. That looks so good. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go get the mold. And good thing for you, if you have an island that is not near the stove, if you pull your chocolate, uh, which I'm going to do in a second, the chocolate mold, don't put it anywhere near the oven, especially if it's on, because it will melt. So the cooler spot is the best spot. And if you have a pot or anything else going on, like coffee, make sure you don't put it anywhere near because the heat itself could cause it to melt and you don't want that. Same. As you can see, right in there. The and it's not quite the center, but it's all right because in the end, people don't care as long as your icing tastes good. Remember that. <laughs> They're not gonna be like, hmm, that's not quite in the center. So Especially if you're cooking for layer. Ooh, here we go. I'll hold this side. Perfect. And now we have our three layers. Three layers. Ta -da! That's all we need. Perfect. So that's pretty much just extra. Pretty much. We're gonna have to smother this with something and eat it. <laughs> so. Right, so bring all your stuff over to the other side of the counter. Do 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 do. And now it's fight to the death. No. With a spoon. Rust.
frosty spoon. So that piece can just hang over there with the cupcakes. It's off in cupcake land. And now we put the first layer in. I want to see if it fits first. It will. If not, we'll squeeze it. Look at that. No, we got to cut it. Now you just squeeze it to the ripples. Gonna, like a I got to put this first in there. Oh, oh you do. Yeah, so it sticks. Oh, see? And this is why I stick to cars. Because if I was a baker, <laughs> I would just be like, Mrr. Actually, I probably would have just filled that entire thing with peanut butter. I'm not going to lie. Would have been Knowing like, you cake? Know. Yes. Like, who needs cake? Don't you know. <laughs> don't you know. You don't need the cake. Ooh, hexagonal. I knew what you were thinking before you even thunk it. <laughs> that looks a very yummy hexagonal cookie. <laughs> All right, so you're going to want to put your ganache. Ganache that is cooled. Yes. So you put it. When That's hot? why we made that first because that you want right. it to be thick. So it's. One, some people will be like, oh, that might be harder to work with. But it's actually easier to work with. Don't you know? Don't you know. <laughs> Alright, so I put that there. You're going to put a little bit so it acts like glue. This is your bacon glue. Oh, I said bacon glue. So, as you can see, spreading it all around. That's about it, yeah. Alright. Now to put your cake in. Hexagonal blue. Oh my god. And then mm -hmm. comes the peanut butter. This is the awesome part. Doesn't matter who you are. <laughs> the peanut butter is the best part. Unless you have peanut butter allergies. Then I have to say, that's like... Oh. I am really sorry if you have peanut yes. butter allergies, but... You're probably not watching this video. You probably just disliked it and walked away. That's right. Every dislike on this video is someone with peanut butter allergies. If you do have peanut butter allergies, I don't recommend you dislike the video. I'm just saying, like... Yeah. I just feel bad for you. <laughs> yeah. Sad panda. Oh my gosh. This is, uh, this is what a fat cell looks like before it enters your body. Oh my god. Oh. Here, I'll hold it, sort of. I gotta make sure I don't hold it too tight because it's chocolate. And it melts. Can you get more in? Hmm? Oh. More in? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Look how much extra we have. I know. We could always, yeah, we have to put that on cupcakes. Uh, yeah, it's out. Puppy dog. Hi, puppy dog. Puppy dog approved. None of the chocolate is, don't worry. Hold that for a second. Yes. Oh, this looks like the best, like, icing scoop ever. Yeah, this plate was dangerous yeah. from the get-go. So, as you can see, smothering. I mean, do that more. I think it's good. I don't know. Yeah, it's... that looks pretty good. Uh, man, this is not a stay. All right, let's try to even it out as best as possible. Yeah, because you still have to put the other <laughs> layer of cake on. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, she's going to wash her hands because they're sticky. And then from this point, after you think you have enough, I'll bring you down. That's how much we've used. We're going to put... The next layer. Like inch, say, yeah. Yeah. We got like an inch. Well, that's not very. That's not very straight at all, Mike. Wow. Well. No, this. Yeah. That's not straight. That's not straight at all. No, it's not very straight. So we need to shave this so it's straight. Otherwise, her OCD will kick in. And then. <gasps> Everyone it's dies. Fit properly. Exactly. And let me guess. You're like, why don't you put your fingers right where the medium <laughs> part is, right? <laughs> don't but you? But it know. has to be straight. 
So as you can see, her laser leveling eyes are going to cut it straight. Perfect. Can. Ooh, good shave. Yay, more dinner. That's pretty good. All right. Here we go. The big moment. The pressing. Sponge of Reese's Pieces Cake. Oh. Look at that. That's a perfect amount. Oh my god. That's perfect. Now ganache it. <laughs> <laughs> ganache it. Before I'm we... scared to ganache it. I'm scared it's going to go down the sides. If it does, then it'll be extra ganached. Extra ganached? Yeah. Someone complains, hmm, there's extra chocolate on the sides of my chocolate. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, oh man, what am I gonna do with extra chocolate? Um, I have a couple ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Jesus. That's perfect. This is an A1 kitchen. A1. Ooh. Oh my ganache. Oh my ganache. This is perfect. Let's all go to the lobby. <laughs> this looks fantastic. I can't believe I pulled it off. Look at it. That is fantastic. So, if you're like, know that something depressing is about to happen in your life, and you know <laughs> you're going to need a chocolate cake, you should definitely do this because it's going to be double trouble. And if you're watching this and crying, you should be because this is absolutely delicious looking and I'm crying because I can't eat it tonight. <laughs> it's got to wait one more night. My ganache brings all the girls to the yard, damn right. It's better than yours. Why in earth would I sing this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to blame it on the buzzer beater of the uh, oven. Oh, that's perfect. It's totally a racist it's piece. It's seal it, though. It's yeah. Okay, okay. The oven is like... <laughs> the oven swearing at us. <laughs> take me out! Take me take out, I'm stuck in your pocket. <laughs> oh. You can take the cupcakes out if you want. Okay. But you remember, sure you trust me? So after smoothing it, it turns out like this. <laughs> so Jessica, like. we did it! We did it, Richard! Oh boy. Oh man. Now you can either... No, you have to let it cool. So at this point, just put it in the fridge. Mm-hmm. And leave it, and then if you want to add someone's name to the top, like a 29 or however old they're turning, or that's when you do it is after that dries. You can just take your bag, which we used earlier when we were making the cupcakes. Your piping bag. Piping bag? Your piping bag. It sounds so Scottish. Your piping bag. Yeah. Don't do it with your bagpipes, though. So, after you do it, then yes. This is what you get. Oh, that looks fantastic. Let's do a once over. That's awesome. And then now you have all this extra. Like, look at this. Look at this. 
No, that's not extra. That is the <laughs> real deal. Well, look at all this extra peanut butter icing. You know that's going to cause a lot of ruckus later. But thank gosh we have a lot of cupcakes and a lot of icing. So, and we still have some of our chocolate ones. So you know that I'm just about to break out a glass of milk. Put some peanut butter icing on there and kill it. Anyways, ta-da. Ta it's, it's done. done. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this comical cooking with Richard and Jessica.